Windows 11 has a lot of hidden features that most users don't even know about. In this video, I'll show you 7 hidden features that can make your Windows experience faster, easier, and more productive. So let's get started. The feature number 1, Disable Startup Apps. Now I'll show you how to disable startup apps in Windows 11 and slow down unnecessary background programs that make your PC boot slower. Just right-click on the taskbar and open Task Manager. Then go to the Startup Apps tab. Here, you can easily enable or disable programs that start automatically with your system. Disabling unnecessary apps here will help your computer boot faster and run more smoothly. This step helps improve boot time and overall performance. So, don't worry, you can always re-enable them later if needed. Number 2. Set Power Mode to Best Performance Go to the Settings And go to System Scroll down and choose Power and Battery Now under Power Mode Select best performance when your device is plugged in. Also, switch to best performance when on battery for maximum speed. This will make your PC run smoother and more responsive. And don't forget, it may use a bit more power, but the speed boost is totally worth it. Enabling high performance mode helps your PC use its full power for better speed and responsiveness. It makes Windows run smoother, especially when you're gaming, editing videos, or running heavy apps. But keep in mind, it can use more battery, so it's best when your laptop is plugged in. Number 3. Open Emoji Panel Press Windows Plus Dot to open the Emoji Panel. From here, you can quickly add emojis, symbols, or even GIFs into your text. The best part is that it works anywhere you can type, whether it's in chat apps, documents, or social media. It's a fast and creative way to express yourself, without needing to search for emojis or symbols online. For example, if you open Google Chrome and start writing in a search box, you can instantly insert emojis. You can even insert special symbols, even if they don't exist on your keyboard, like arrows, currency signs, or math symbols. It's a fun way to make your messages stand out and a quick tool for adding professional symbols without having to copy them from the internet. Number 4 is set Wi-Fi data usage limit. If you're using a limited Wi-Fi connection or a mobile hotspot, this tip will help you stay in control of your data usage. Go to Settings. Then open Network and Internet. Click on Advanced Network Settings and select Data Usage. At the top, make sure you choose your Wi-Fi network. Then click on Enter Limit. Here you can set the limit type, monthly, one-time, or unlimited. The reset date, for example, every first of the month. And finally, the data limit, like 500 megabytes or 5 gigabytes. Once you set this up, Windows will warn you when you're getting close to your limit, so you don't run out of data unexpectedly. This is very useful if you're on a limited internet plan, using tethering, or want to avoid extra charges. Number 5. Clear Cache Using RAM Map this method is super easy and really helpful if your PC feels slow or if your RAM is full. First, open Google Chrome and type RAM map. Click on the first link. Then click on the download link for RAM map. Once it's downloaded, go to your browser downloads and click Show in Folder. Now, right-click on the file. Choose Extract All. And then click Extract. Inside the extracted folder, 
Open the one named RAM Map 64. You'll see a small agreement window. Just click Agree. Wait a few seconds. And then the main RAM map page will appear. And that's it, the RAM map tool is now open. Now let's move on to the next step, which is opening the task manager. To open task manager just press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape. Go to the Performance tab. Then select Memory. As you can see, I have around 5 GB of cached memory. Now, let's clear it. Go back to the RAM map window we opened earlier. Click on Empty, then select Empty Standby List. And look at that. My cache went down by around 250 megabytes instantly. This means the method worked perfectly, and it will also work for you. This trick is very useful if your PC feels slow, or when you're gaming and need to free up memory quickly. It also helps improve system responsiveness and reduce lag by clearing standby memory, giving your computer more free RAM for smoother performance and faster app loading. And that's it. If this video helped you, make sure to like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more Windows tips. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you won't miss the next one. Number 6. Manage App Permissions in Windows 11 If you want to have more control over your privacy in Windows 11, here's a simple but powerful tip. Go to Settings. Then open Privacy and Security. Scroll down until you find App Permissions. Here, you'll see a list of features like microphone, camera, location, and more. For example, let's take the microphone. Click on it, and you'll see two options. You can completely turn off microphone access for all apps. Or, you can allow only specific apps to use your microphone, like Zoom, and disable it for others such as camera or Xbox. The same goes for the camera. You can block all apps from using it, or just select which apps are allowed. And you can do the exact same thing for location and other permissions. This tip is very useful if you want to protect your privacy, reduce unnecessary background access, improve system performance, and even save battery life on laptops. By managing app permissions, you make sure that only the apps you trust can access sensitive features like your microphone, camera, or location. And finally number 7, turn on or off firewall. Another hidden setting in Windows 11 that you might not know is how to disable the Microsoft Defender firewall. Let me show you how. Open Settings. And go to Network and Internet. Scroll down and click on Advanced Network Settings. After that, click on Windows Firewall. Wait a few moments, and a new page will open called Firewall and Network Protection. Now, select the network that is currently active, usually Public Network. Finally, turn off the Microsoft Defender Firewall switch. Disabling the Windows Firewall can sometimes be useful. For example, it can help when you want to install or run apps that the firewall is blocking, it's useful for testing network connections or troubleshooting internet issues, and it may be necessary if you're using a third-party firewall or security suite. However, keep in mind the risks, your PC becomes more vulnerable to cyber attacks, viruses, and malware, hackers can access your device more easily without firewall protection and it's especially risky if you stay connected to public Wi-Fi without any protection. That's why it's always recommended to disable the firewall only temporarily, re-enable it once you're done, and if you want more control, consider using a trusted third-party firewall instead of leaving it off completely. And that's it. Those were 7 hidden features in Windows 11 that you should definitely try. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends.